White House vows to fight back after a local judge blocked an immigration travel ban nationwide. We must intervene. Tonight, hope turns into emotional uncertainty for families as one side claims victory. I think this is a big win for the whole state of Washington tonight. But the other side isn't giving up. And right now, a live look at the White House where President Trump and his administration working to stop that order handed down in Seattle today. The White House announced it plans to request an emergency stay as soon as possible. Minutes later, a revised statement came out, leaving out one very strong word. We have team coverage tonight with reaction from all sides, starting with Patrick Quinn outside the federal courthouse in Seattle. Patrick? Good evening, Mary Morgan. Just behind me earlier today, federal judge James Robart issued this temporary restraining order on President Trump's executive order on immigration. Tonight, Governor Inslee called the ruling a historic moment. Meanwhile, the, the White House called it outrageous, insisting it plans to appeal. This TRO is granted on a nationwide basis. President Trump's travel ban temporarily halted nationwide inside the courtroom today after a heated back and forth. The order is illegal and is causing serious immediate harms to our states, to our state institutions, and to our people. Certainly in the context of this case, um, it's it, the, the president is acting well within his uh, the authority that, that Congress has given him. In the end, Judge James Robart sided with the state of Washington. It is not the loudest voice that prevails in a courtroom. It's the Constitution. President Trump's executive order banned people from seven primarily Muslim countries from entering the United States. Well, it is a historic moment, and I think it's great that Washington state has led the nation to maintain uh, really deep fundamental American values. The White House called for swift action in response to today's ruling, saying in part, the Department of Justice intends to file an emergency stay of this outrageous order. Minutes later, the White House reissued the statement removing the word outrageous. Look, this is the last president in the world should be using the, the word outrageous about anything. Again, just when will the White House appeal? It could come at any moment. You heard from that statement. They would like to do it at the earliest possible time. Certainly what Governor Inslee calls a historic day here in Seattle. Federal judge halting that travel ban. We're live here in downtown Seattle. I'm Patrick Quinn, Como News. Thank you, Patrick. Since the block on the travel ban took effect immediately, families and lawyers spent tonight scrambling to figure Same out what an Iranian infant who was banned from the U.S. is now cleared to travel to Oregon for life-saving heart surgery. The family tried to get to Portland last week, but were turned back. Here's some background on Judge James Robart, who issued today's decision. President George W. Bush appointed him to the U.S. District Court in Seattle back in 2003, and his nomination was confirmed 99-0. to zero. He is from Seattle, an alumni of Whitman College and Georgetown Law, and he made headlines back in August when he declared Black Lives Matter during a police reform hearing. The State Department says up to 60,000 people had their visas canceled during the ban. The Justice Department put that number at 100,000, but state officials clarified that includes diplomatic and other visas that were exempted from the executive order as well as expired visas. Stay with the Como News Network for the latest developments on the legal battle still to come over the president's immigration travel ban and the new temporary restraining order. Hello, this is Breakfast with Charlie Sturt and Steph McGovern. A U.S. judge orders a temporary stop for Donald Trump's ban on travelers from seven mainly Muslim countries. The president's controversial order is overturned by a court in Seattle, meaning the restrictions have been suspended across the United States. Judge Robart's decision puts a halt to President Trump's unconstitutional and unlawful executive order. Good morning. It's Saturday, the 4th of February. Good morning. First, our main story. A judge in the U.S. has put a temporary nationwide block on President Trump's immigration controls. It means travel restrictions on people from seven mainly Muslim countries should be lifted immediately. The White House is expected to appeal against the ruling by a judge in Seattle. Greg Dawson reports. Allah on America's East Coast, there was another day of prayer and protest at New York's Kennedy Airport as people voiced their opposition to Donald Trump's immigration ban. 
Over on the west coast, that opposition was being voiced in a Seattle courtroom. In the most significant legal challenge yet to President Trump's order, a federal judge issued a nationwide temporary block on the measure. Washington State's Attorney General said he expected the administration to obey the ruling. Judge Robart's decision, effective immediately, effective now, puts a halt to President Trump's unconstitutional and unlawful executive order. I want to repeat that. It puts a stop to it immediately. But the White House says it will fight this court ruling and quickly seek to reinstate the order. In a statement, Donald Trump's press secretary, Sean Spicer, said, the president's order is intended to protect the homeland and he has the constitutional authority and responsibility to protect the American people. In the meantime, US Customs and Border Protection has told airlines they can now board those passengers previously affected by the ban. No fear! My employees are welcome here! No hate! No fear! Donald Trump was quick to dismiss the protests sparked by his immigration ban. Dismissing the ruling of a federal judge is likely to be a bigger challenge. Greg Dawson, BBC News. And Nick has the weekend weather for us. Good morning. The weekend's getting off to a fairly chilly start. There are a few showers around in Scotland, some rain and hill snow. But most places will see at least one fine day this weekend. I've got all your weather in the next half hour. Nick, thank you.